Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today we're going to take a little bit of a road trip for our book haul. We'll stop at three used bookstores. My wife and I were celebrating our 37th anniversary and we decided to return to a national park that we stayed in during our honeymoon, Riding Mountain National Park here in Manitoba, Canada. My wife always surprises me when she suggests, hey, I wonder if there's any used bookstores around where we're going. So that's why we have a book haul. As we are leaving west out of Winnipeg, I went to a used bookstore in Winnipeg that I don't go to very often. It's called Cover to Cover on Portage Avenue. I'm going to put a link to the websites to the bookstores in the description for this video and perhaps also in a first comment or a pinned comment. So I made some interesting finds, three books at Cover to Cover. Let's start off with a collection of short stories, early short stories, by Keith Roberts, Machines and Men. This is a Panther science fiction edition. It's in really good condition with the exception of a little bit of cover rip from a sticker. It was published in 1974 and the copyright for the collection is 1973. And it divides the stories into machines and men. Never read any short stories by Keith Roberts. I've read a couple of his books, including Pavan, which actually is a fix-up novel of stories. I read it as I was reading through the Ace Science Fiction Special Series 1. Awesome find. I know that Stephen E. Andrews of the Outlaw Bookseller loves Keith Roberts. I had a second book in a series, and I've just been waiting my time to find the first book. It's a more contemporary author, Anne Leckie, Ancillary Justice. And as you can see on the cover, it's won both the Hugo and Nebula Awards. This last one from cover to cover was an amazing find. Slowly, I've been starting to read more fantasy as I go through some of these different series. And I like to research authors and novels and trends. Well, you know, for science fiction, I often go to John Clute and Peter Nichols' Encyclopedia of Science Fiction. It's a rather big tome, but it's got so much good information in it. The book that I picked up was The Encyclopedia of Fantasy by John Clute and John Grant winner of the Hugo and World Fantasy Awards. And it's not quite as thick as the other one, but I'm going to be using this for researching any of the fantasy novels that I read. And so now, if I need to work out, just pick up the fantasy and science fiction here. Who needs dumbbells? Just keep working out here. So I'm looking forward to using these resources. That was it from cover to cover, but three great additions to my library. Then we hit the road and we went to a town just south of Riding Mountain National Park called Onano. I don't know about where you come from, but many of our small towns here in Manitoba seem to have these large statues. Statues representing something about their community. In Onano, they have a large elk. It was built in 1997 by Ralph Berg. It's five meters by eight meters. And you'll also find Poor Michael's Emporium, Books, Art, and Cafe. If you're ever heading towards Riding Mountain National Park, you should make a stop here at Poor Michael's. You can get some really good coffee or some delicious made-from-scratch baking desserts and lunches. The bookshop has a great collection of used and collectible books, as well as a growing collection of vinyl. As I said in the intro, you'll find links to these bookshops in the description and also in a pinned comment. So, from Poor Michael's Emporium, I found one of these corgi 
Textured Books. It's from the Corgi SF Collector's Library. It's called Star Rover by Jack London. You might know Jack London from White Fang or The Call of the Wild. But did you know that he wrote speculative fiction, science fiction? Let's see when this was copyright. The book itself that I'm holding is 1976, but I don't see an earlier copyright. I'll look that up and put it on the screen. I found another older book, a book that I've actually read before, but I couldn't resist this edition. It's a Ballantine's book, 35 cent original. The Space Merchants by Frederick Pohl and C.M. Kornbluth. A novel of the future when the advertising agencies take over. Copyright 1952. This is the paperback from 1953. What a beautiful vintage book. I was wondering about the cover artist and I was right. Before we had some of the surreal covers from Richard Powers, he also had some covers that were more traditional. So this is a Richard Powers cover. It also notes that this is an original novel, not a reprint. A hardbound edition of this book, priced at $150, may be obtained from your local bookstore. And you can see perhaps a little bit more of a close-up of some of the art from the back. One author that I'm missing in my library is Michael Bishop. And so I picked up Eyes of Fire by Michael Bishop. That is some freaky artwork there. Through their crystal gaze, they beheld the future, all its wonders and terrors. On a secret mission of surveillance and experimentation. Hmm. Well, we even have some maps in here. Copyright 1980. I also went to the TV and movie section in the store and I found some nostalgic books. Nostalgic at least for me. I used to collect the photo novels from Star Trek. And of course, I got rid of them. So I picked up number one. This one is in an amazing condition. Photo novels were like comic books. They would take pictures from the episode and put in the dialogue and also some narration. I don't want to crack the spine on it. That's why I'm holding it this way. This was copyright 1977. I believe there were 11 of them. Each one an episode of the TV show. There was a short run science fiction TV show from United States that I watched as a preteen. I found it fascinating, mysterious and scary. So I have the first book in a thrilling new series based on the smash ABC TV hit. This is written by Keith Lalmer, a one man war against aliens from outer space. How many of you have ever heard of The Invaders? Starring Roy Thines or Thins? I'm not sure of the pronunciation on that one. It says it's created by Larry Cohen. The Invaders orbit the Earth in flying saucers. Some have already landed. The others are waiting. The invaders are merciless, inhuman creatures from a dying planet. They know more about science than we do. They have weapons of incredible power. The invaders have already begun to take over. Their scouts have settled among us. Their agents have infiltrated 
our highest councils. The invaders must be stopped, but only one man, David Vincent, even knows they exist. The Invaders is based on the sensational ABC TV series starring Roy Thines. I may read this one sooner than later. It's only 142 pages. That was the books from Poor Michael's Emporium. After that, we went on to the lake and stayed a couple days in Wassa Gaming. When leaving Riding Mountain National Park, we decided to take a bit of a detour. We headed straight south to Brandon, Manitoba to visit a bookstore that I've been to before. George Strange's Bookmart and Prairie Showcase. They've been in operation for over 40 years and have the largest used bookstore in southwestern Manitoba with over 50,000 books. I picked up four more books at George Strange's used bookstore. First one here is a Daw book. Used to be a yellow spine, perhaps, but the cover is in great shape. It's called The Hero of Downways by Michael G. Coney, author of Mirror Image and Friends Come in Boxes. Here, let's take a closer look at that cover. has an inside illustration. Copyright 1973. This is the first printing, September of 1973. Actually, if I pick away here at this sticker, maybe I'll find out which number it is. My friend Kenny loves to collect DAW books. I think he's up to over 80% of all Yellow Spine DAW books in his collection. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. I'll work out the rest of it a little later, but I can see that it's number 70. So it's within the first hundred of the DAW books. Next, I have a replacement for a book that I sent on to a used bookstore. This is actually a nicer edition. It's a Bantam book from May 1969. Richard Matheson's the Shrinking Man. Very famous book. You'll be able to find it in the Science Fiction Masterworks. I've been slowly collecting Jack McDevitt books. I used to read them in the 90s, and I want to get back into his work. This is from a series called Alex Benedict. Echo. Copyright 2010. I've read a couple military SF novels, and this one keeps coming up in the comments. So I was very happy to find John Stakely's Armor. Take a look at that cover. What price impregnable armor against an implacable foe? John Stakely has given us a novel of cosmic combat that will stand against the best of Gordon Dixon or Paul Anderson. This is actually a Daw book, after they had finished their yellow spines. Copyright 1984. They say this is a Daw book collector's number 605. So from Brandon, we headed back home with 12 more books for my SF library. So, what do you think of some of the books that I've picked up? Have you read them? Have you visited any of the shops that I visited? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep visiting those used bookstores.